What is it, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Division 2 once again. But a friendly reminder, if you guys are new to the channel or new to my content in general, and you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my Division 2 uploads. Today, we're going to kind of take a look at some of the updates uh, that happened. We actually made a video on this prior talking about some of the talent nerfs and the other things that they did. And I kind of just had a couple of things that I wanted to talk about and get your opinions on. And so I just want to go ahead and tell you guys to feel free during any time in this to go ahead and go in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Now, one thing that I wanted to talk about was like how massive and the division kind of focus on nerfing metas and build talents and things like that instead of ner uh, nerfing the actual problem so like take the build you know everybody knows wids is build if you guys have been playing you guys follow the youtube scene when it comes to division everybody knows his wit knows wids build you know vector you know when it came to like perks like clutch and strained and things like that like all of those were viable they were super meta and they were pretty much the best things to run especially when it came to pvp and nobody nobody's gonna argue that fact at all but like i don't think that it was necessary for them to make that unplayable i feel like the point of the game is to have different builds and things like that that you enjoy using you know i had a build like that that i like to use in pvp because everything was normalized and it made sense and i enjoyed having those options and then i had a pvp i mean a pve build that i also used when i was doing challenging missions and things like that because it made more sense but the thing is is that i feel like them nerfing metas is not the way to go about a game like this now I feel as if no build is really safe because as a YouTuber, as part of this community, I can create multiple builds, I can create multiple build videos, and I can tell you guys all about what I think is probably the best things for you to run, but none of that is sacred based on the fact that at any point in time they could feel like it's too powerful and they could in turn nerf all the talents making the build almost unplayable which is exactly what they did with that build i have been able to play a little bit of it but at the same time it is nowhere near what it was it's actually so far deep in the ground when it comes to playability that i'm not even sure if it's even an option like if it's even like something that you should be trying out yes there needs to be different metas and there needs to be different changes but adding things or maybe toning things down a little bit less than they did they made some major changes which like i said i talked about in my other video but they made some major changes to some of the best perks in the game so far and so i'm not really sure how that's going to go now in turn i really feel like some of the exotics that we'll see will be a lot more exotic they'll be a lot more powerful and things like that but we're talking about builds and builds alone that coupled with the fact that a lot of the new gear sets and i don't get me wrong i know a lot of people are going to uh, tell me as soon as i say this that it's about you know build diversity is why they're doing that but a lot of the builds especially compared to the original sets of gear from the division one a lot of the builds that we have or the gear sets that we've been shown as of like the current uh i think it was last title update was it it dropped with the um title basin update yeah so all of those none of them have been viable and especially i i don't really feel like any of them are that viable inside of pvp so we we're still lacking pve pill our pvp builds i always get all of them mixed up anyways there was still lacking in like a pvp uh, gear set or at least the initial idea of them we're still lacking in a um a, like a kind of like a dark zone solo type of uh, build you know kind of like the nomad gear set i don't know how long some of you guys have been playing but if you guys have been playing for a long time you guys know exactly what i'm talking about but basically there was a build uh for you guys that haven't played d1 there was a build in d1 that was based around being able to survive by yourself inside of the dark zone so we've gotten a lot of uh, we've gotten quite a few gear sets but none of them really being uh it, it doesn't seem like any of them are worth actually having you know um there are certain things that are kind of helpful when it comes to that like you know the ability to have um you know the option to help your teammates out with the true patriot gear true patriot gear allows you to like give your teammates different things cooldowns and things like that and it kind of just works along with you as you know you're playing the game like you don't really notice it but you're always giving people something but out of that 
and the other builds you get, none of them are really worth using for PvP. None of them are really worth using in the Dark Zone. So, like, I don't know. Personally, I feel like we kind of, where we haven't seen a lot of things that are that make it fun to grind necessarily we're still basically getting the same gear like i said the gear sets aren't that useful and uh i, I think they're going to stay that way from what i've seen i'm pretty sure they're just wanting to focus on build diversity and as much and as cool as that is you know giving people something um a little bit of something extra a little, a little bit of something that makes it worthwhile because oh i've got this gear set that lets me do this you know maybe maybe we'll see more down the line which obviously we will but we'll, with better talents and better things that will allow them to be more viable like i said uh if, as long as we get one out of every set uh, set they drop if they drop three at a time multiple times we should be fine um like i said we got true patriot which out of them all is probably the best one in my personal opinion uh, based, like I said, based on the fact that you're always doing something for your team, you know, and I, I, I haven't tried the True Patriot gear set out inside of PvP, but I would imagine it being the same thing. If you guys have tried it out, then make sure that you guys are, uh, you guys tell me uh, about it. I, I want to know if it actually stacks up on people, but what I've been noticing is that it's almost the exact same timeline as the division one you know the big patch that changed a lot of things and we all got or we, or a, a lot of the community is upset at many of those changes uh not based on the fact that the changes were necessarily bad for the game but because we have to scrap complete builds and right now i'm not even running a build right now i'm still trying to get my gear up and i'm still trying to work on that and getting to the point where it's going to be a useful a uh, useful build for me to use so i haven't been able to come up with a build for you, video for you guys because right now it, it, there's there's not much to do except for get the same gear that we've been getting because like i said adding in some of that a lot of the gear even in the gear sets doesn't come with talents so from face value every single gear piece that i've gotten hasn't come with a talent i don't know if i need to recalibrate it but i don't think you can recalibrate something that doesn't already have a talent so therefore yeah you're you're kind of like oh i can pick this uh, 500 gear piece with a talent or i can pick this 500 gear set piece with no talent it it's really not that hard of a decision as so i need them to come with a little bit more of a uh, a good a good thing when it comes to gear sets because right now i'm feeling super super uh disappointed in gear sets especially like i said you know there were some really good ones in, in the division one and I'm just, I'm hoping that there's not, it, this game doesn't go down the same path. Because uh, what happens is, is that the game gets to a point where not everything you grind for. And it's kind of like how, how it happened inside of uh, Anthem in, in a way. Anthem died somewhat fast, not only because of hate from, you know, YouTubers and the media and things like that. Which, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you guys on that one. <laughs> not trying to even be that type of guy. But, like, we, literally, we can have the conversation for hours of how YouTubers ran that game into the ground. But, we're not talking about that. That's another video for another time. What we are talking about is, is that one thing that really turned people off, especially from a game that's built around, you know, loot and things like that, is that your build in the game should mean something. And... When you play these games, it's usually an investment of time, a major investment of time. And when you don't feel like you have invested or, or you're getting back what you're investing in, you can play for hours and still not only have you know a similar build to what you already had and not really much differences because there's not a lot of different things in the game, but you could also just be going around not actually having anything to do. So right now, what I feel like the Division 2 needs to do is take a step back and really think about how they're, um, they're treating their players when it comes to are they getting the most out of their time when they're playing our game. You know, I really think that should be step one on the list. Now, they did a great job with a lot of things so far. They had a really successful launch. They had a really successful first uh, apparel event. So I'm very, very excited to see what they have in the future. And this is in no way me trying to bash this game at all. This is just kind of me, you know, telling you guys what I've been observing and wanting to get your, your input on it, guys. So like I said, guys. Make sure you guys are commenting down below what you guys think about the current meta and things like that. And uh, what the, the, well, not necessarily the meta, but the changes that they've been making and things like that. And what you guys have been able to see and experience through your playtime. 
With that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys had enjoyed the last one, and I hope you guys enjoy the ones in the future. But if you guys did, you guys already know what to do. Leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my future uploads, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.